I love you. Tuesday, March 29th, 2022. My name is Travis. Welcome to Trav Talks. Keep in mind, wherever you are listening, Spotify, Apple Music, or if it's neither of those, tell me where you're listening. I like to know. And uh, make sure you're following, subscribing, all of those things. Uh, I am on Facebook. (laughs) Well, I guess it's official. Um, And I'll tell that story. It's from another podcast. I'll tell that story another time about uh, our good friend Garth Brooks. Uh, But yeah, I'm on uh, on Facebook, uh, at Trav Talks. Uh, or uh, Trav Talks Pod podcast, something like that. I don't know exactly what it is, but uh, that's where you can find the majority of my content. You know, I'm on the Twitter. I'm on the. I like to always think that Twitter could be uh, pronounced with a C. Twitter, like uh, like Bully Ray. Remember, uh, this is a deep cut for nobody knows what this is, but Bully Ray, Bubba Ray Dudley from the professional wrestling industry, uh, used to get on the mic and say, "Hey, hey, follow me on Twitter." On Twitter, come get me on Twitter, and he just really beefed up that New York accent. Uh, at Travis Gaffer is where you can find me there. Um, Instagram, I am on Snapchat, TikTok. Boo! Uh, <laughs> I'll leave the business card in the description this time, actually. And uh, unfortunately, I have some sad news about the podcast, and that is, well, there's good news, and that's I finally know what I want the intro of the show to sound like. Uh, I'm going to be candid with you. I, I want to still be myself so it's going to be whatever the day of the week is monday or for example today tuesday march 29th 2022 you know the cadence of getting that in there my name the socials uh i like it and i want to use it but unfortunately i'm probably gonna have this podcast published tomorrow so it'll actually be wednesday march 30th 2022 welcome to trav talks my name is travis hey i am getting better at it though maybe i should record this podcast twice because it is that nice damn it i'm doing too good now though anyways uh first world problems um speaking as such if you want to talk that jaded jazz you can go on to the other platforms, we ain't doing that on this episode. We're, we're talking positive. We're talking Mac. We're talking Mac Talks, part one. Shine. What does that mean, exactly? Uh, shine. Don't trip. Um, it, it's uh, a mindset. It's a, it's a culture. It's a, a lifestyle. It's a, a way of thinking. And it's um, a way that's uh, self-acknowledged in its flaws and that it is not... A, a be all end all you you can't just always expect things to be perfect mental health is very complicated and uh, with Mac Miller he had his demons he had his drug addiction that's very well documented um, and with him he always from the mixtape kids which I've been listening to a lot lately all the way up into the album that came out after he had uh, tragically passed at the age of 26, uh, Circles, and he always talked about shining and, and what that means, and, and that can be different for everybody, but for me, that always meant putting your best self out there, and if you're not doing that, then you're not only are you doing everybody else a disservice, but you're doing yourself a disservice, and he was a, a big proprietor I, proprietor is that the right word i don't know he was a, an advocate or at least a messenger an artist that uh spoke of, it, about these matters matters and uh <laughs> uh my wife and i have a stupid inside joke where sometimes she'll say water uh but she won't say water she'll say water it's water <laughs> it doesn't happen anymore since i've noticed it but uh Whenever I say matters, matters, there's not a Y in matters, so it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, Mac Miller, man, he, he had that shine. He had that that don't trip attitude, and you can probably attribute a lot of that to the drug use, really. But at the end of the day, you know, you either have it in you or you don't. And when you're trying to bring others up around you, we appreciate that because kindness matters and we need someone to pick us up and carry us when we're not able to get across the finish line. And sometimes it doesn't have to be Mac Miller. It can be Leonard Skinner for all I care. It can be anybody, whatever it is that gets you to that place that you want to be. As long as it's positive, 
That would be my only uh, constituent. Constituent? That can't be the right word either. That That's definitely the wrong word. But I do think that there is something to pairing yourself to some kind of entertainment or art form or music that you can rely upon. So I'm going to tell a quick story really quick because I want to keep this episode really short, sweet, and to the point because this is part one and we're just talking a little bit about, you know, show your shine and don't trip. And we're going to talk more and more and more about that. But before we get out of here, like real talk, real story, I, me, was a, uh, a nicotine vapor. I would vape uh, constantly, all the time. And I knew that I wanted to have this podcast thing work out and I wanted to do it. And I didn't want it to be just a hobby one day. And I'm not afraid to talk about that either. And when me and the boys, Mike and Chris from Hotel Ugly, were talking about possibly being the greatest of all time, you know, it really got me thinking. And how hard do I want to work? And, and I'm realistically, I'm not going to be the greatest of all time, but could I? How hard am I willing to work? And how hard can I work for something I'm passionate about? Passionate about. <laughs> uh, so anyway, back to me being a, uh, a vapor. Uh, I was a cigarette smoker in a good chunk of my 20s. I quit for a sizable timeline, about five years or so. Why don't I just say five years? Why do I have to say a sizable timeline? Anyway, don't you hate yourself sometimes? Uh, I uh, (laughs) uh, smoked cigarettes from age 18 to about 25, 26. Uh, Quit till I was about 30. Yeah, about 30. Uh, Picked up the cigars and uh, started doing that and justifying it as... You know, I'm a, I'm in my 30s. I have a child. I have a wife. I have a house, a car, a lawnmower. I deserve a nicotine break from time to time. And I was just getting sucked into this toxic mindset that I was enabling myself and and, and allowing myself to do. Because that's what an addiction can do to you too, man. And uh, it, it can really go both ways uh, of how you choose to let it get a hold of you and um so i was back in all in on cigars and to a a big big point that i was scared again that i was gonna fall down that rabbit hole of rabbit (laughs) that rabbit hole of uh uh of doing too much of the nicotine of the cigarettes or not the cigarettes but the um uh, the cigars and um i was able to find the vape picked that up made things way worse and I didn't realize it. I have to this day, I still haven't processed everything. I'm a little over what, six weeks or something of uh, no longer vaping. And I feel so good. I know I'm not going back. I, I just know it, but it's because throughout this process, I've also learned something and that that lesson is, it's so important for me specifically to have something to look forward to. I have to have something to look forward to. Whether it's the podcast or discovering new music or new people or creating content, Uh, again, doing the podcast, there's so many different pieces and layers because it's me. I'm in 100% control of everything. I don't make the music, but I do the editing, I do the publishing, I do the write-ups, I do the content creation, the video editing, uh, you know, but like, I enjoy it. I don't do it because... I'm trying to get recognition. I do it because it's what I enjoy. And if I can keep on my grind and not give up, like I've been doing this hard for four months now, ever since December 6th. And it's gotten harder and harder and harder uh, every week since then. And I I love it. I I want it to keep uh, becoming more challenging and difficult and challenging myself because I don't have the vape pen holding me back anymore. I don't need to feel like that's the thing I look forward to. The thing I look forward to is throwing on some Mac Miller and having maybe five, 10 minutes to myself and just kind of feel however I'm feeling in that moment and find whatever song is going to make me feel like whatever song needs to make me feel like in that moment. Um, and also doing the podcast too. You know, I can, um, you know, if you are listening for the first time or if this is, uh, one of many episodes you've listened to, you'll notice my voice is a little weird. Uh, I am still recovering from a cold, but also um, the vape has uh, sort of changed my tolerance of how long I can be long winded because now you can hear the little scratch at the back of my throat and the little nasaliness, but that that'll go away. But it's self-consciousness that I'm okay talking about. 
because with vaping, all you do is get increased anxiety and excuses for yourself and eventually excuses for others of what they're doing. And, you know, some people may be shaking their head at that and saying, yep, yep. But it's also one of those things that you need to pay attention to because people need help with it. They're stuck and oblivious to it. And what's most important, obviously, is that they need to be the ones to decide, I want to do this. But when you see someone sort of shake their eyes and look at you like they want some help, give them a kick in the ass. Go help them, motivate them, make them feel how they want to feel. Uh, you know, obviously we should be doing that with the immediate people in our family, but uh, go spread your shine. Go share your shine with someone else. You know, uh, be a little more self-aware when you go to the gas station next time and see if the person behind the con- behind the, the counter needs a little bit of a, a positive reinforcement or some good energy. What up, Connor? I hear you. I see you. Um, but I'm not going to talk about this uh, for any more on this episode because I really enjoyed this time that we've had together, guys. I've, uh, what are we, minute 11? Who cares how many minutes? But it's been fun. I do appreciate it. Uh, we're going to talk more about this, and I'm going to actually have some guests on uh, for more editions of Mac Talks here on Trav Talks. So um, in the meantime and in between time, everybody take it easy. Love you. Bye. I love you.